Get in a video with a smile. All right, uh, it's Wednesday, October 12th, 2016. This is my walk and talk video of the week. I just made a video probably no, long, no more than 20 minutes ago, and I started looking at it. It's just the subject's too dark. I can't be gloomy. I, I just, in the last couple weeks, I've been in just heavy thought, contemplating my place in this world, uh, just analyzing society and what's going on, just the disconnect between people. Uh, a YouTuber that I love watching, University of ES, one of her latest videos, she was basically talking about relationships uh, and just, you know, connecting with people and connecting with the right people that fit you and then and the thing is the more we you know it, it's kind of a, this is going to be interesting how I explain this and this is not against anybody for whatever you want to be whatever religion whatever thought process you want to be but as when you think you're open you're closed and what that simply means is once you start figuring out who you are in this world, you're going to stop tolerating or accepting what you're not. And that simply that simply means that if you went through the school of Christianity, of Islam, of Buddhism, Confucianism, and you've transcended from that thought process... You're more consciously aware of the universe or you see God or the universe or, you know, multiple gods, different. You are going to be on a different level, a different thought process than other people. And you may meet people who are into Christianity, into uh, Buddhism, into Islam or, or Mohammedism, Confucianism, all these isms. Uh, and you may meet people who are just pagan or atheists or... Like uh, one of my co-workers, I tell him he's not atheist, he's an agnostic. He just, no one's ever proved to him what he should believe in. And, you know, it really, you're separating yourself more from the common people. It seems like the people who do better are either in a ism, where they're connected with other people, and it depends on their level and their ism, or people who are just living life, you know, and they're just not caring about anything. They're just and that, and they mean they're not studying anything. They just don't give a damn. You know, they just like who they like, and they just keep it rolling. And it's interesting. I've because I've, I've been around this planet for forty plus years, and I've analyzed a lot of things, and I've watched and seen a lot of things, especially with YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook. A lot of things is way more available, so you can see more information now. It's very interesting. Uh, and I just see things differently, analyze things differently now. Um, one of my friends commented on, I sent him a thing on this guy who said he was the real Bruce Wayne on uh, on YouTube. That was the name of his, uh, of his uh, YouTube uh, video, but it was more like an infom infomercial. It looked like he's uh, selling himself in a sense that he's new Tony Robbins he's doing intermittent fasting which is my new thing it's getting up to where I'm fasting 22 hours a day eat a very healthy uh, fulfilling meal and then going without you know other than water the rest of the time you know you take your vitamins and stuff but also building muscle and that's one of the things I'm really serious about cranking up you know the weights and what I was doing before. I'm getting there. I'm I'm pushing it. Uh, I'm really pushing into the every day. I'm on the elliptical, getting my 31 minutes. Pop something YouTube, watch a video. A lot of good videos out there. Like I say, one of my favorite is University of ES, Ralph Smart, Hickok 45. <laughs> I mean, some might know what that means and why I like Hickok 45. Uh, Tennessean I'm a Tennessean you know uh, and just zone out and next thing you know it says you've burnt over 200 calories and you've done 32 minutes so I I'm really just trying to stay as positive and focused as possible but you know in this last video that I'm gonna most likely have to delete unless I just save it for a reason I'm looking for economic 
freedom. And I just noticed we're pretty much everyone I know, everyone who's watching this video is fighting over 10% from the global pot. 10% out of 100%, less than 10,000 people, less than 10,000 people control 90% of the global wealth. So that means the other 7.5 billion people on the planet are fighting over 10% of the global wealth. Don't believe me, just research it. If you find something different, just link it, send it back, you know, but that's what my research is showing as of 2016, that 90% of the population is fighting over 10% of the global wealth while 10% of the population has 90% of the global wealth. That is insane. And I wonder why we can't have anything, you know, um, why it's so hard to get wealth or get ahead. You know, you have a job this week. Oh, we've closed your position. Oh, well, you no longer need it. And you'd have went out and got a car. You'd have went out and got a house. You'd have went out and got married. You'd have put your kids in private school. And then life totally changes and you become negative and bitter once again. And they wonder why we can't eat healthy. I'm in front of Whole Foods. There's cars for days. I mean, this is like, what are these people? They they don't work. They just, they're at Whole Foods. That, that is their job. You know, people are packing it. And they're in there buying. I, I love going in there and seeing the, uh, the, the soccer mom or the little old lady with uh, three bags of uh, groceries that cost about $300. It's like, man, I'd be wanting that. And how do I manifest that? You know, how do I manifest wealth? What do I do to manifest wealth? Am I thinking about wealth the wrong way? Do I think about it too much? What do I do to manifest wealth? And if I get wealth, what am I going to do with wealth? I mean, see, that's the that's the thing. Because I care about the global masses, will I ever really have wealth? I have to think about that. I have to analyze that. I care about people. You know, I don't like walking around and seeing homeless people not having. I don't like to see a mother with children struggling. I want to help people. So... I'll be like the, uh, what's the lady who wrote the Harry Potter book? She was on the billionaire, Forbes billionaire list and dropped off faster than anybody because she gave, gave most of her wealth away to charity to help others because she was once homeless. Remember, her story is she threw that book that she couldn't get published or the manuscript that she, you know, no one wanted. She threw it in the trash. She just happened to go back and get it out the trash and try, try again. And look, it's a billion, multi-billion dollar series. So it's so interesting. You know, what is wealth? That is, the, that is the real question. What is wealth? You know, what is wealth? And I, that's what I'm analyzing. As I'm going through this stressful time with my job and the people, are, well, not really people, just my job, really. The good thing is, hopefully I make it to vacation on Friday, which I'll be off for nine days. And hopefully I'll get a chance to go to the beach if I can get everything economically right. You know, we played a lottery, but I'd have never known anybody. You know, you hear all these stories of people winning multi-million. You know, I've never known anybody to win anything from the lottery. So, just analyzing what is wealth, what is health, what is life. Contemplating the universe. This big entital entital that we're inside of what is this entital is this entital really me am i quantified inside this am i actually living inside of myself experiencing myself from the inside out breathing myself because we're all one we're all part of the universal fabric that is and this free will is just individual thought to think differently than the next. So much thought, so much stuff going on. Sunny day outside, it's October. Weather's nice. It's funny because it was 
super cold in my house and I was like putting on a hat and stuff like I was like wait what's the temperature outside I just came from outside how you not think it was cold so just interesting uh, I get to, like I said I got to get back home got to get on the elliptical got to get my 30 plus minutes in and chill out for the rest of the day and just try to calm my mind down get the vacation and come up with some other things man and come up with some other thoughts some other avenues some other procedures come up with something different and it's there so I keep trying and I keep focusing and on this note I'm going to leave everybody with a smile and wish everybody peace health and wealth look at the camera until next time alright so I need to go and get up and get across the street so until next time until later I'm going to turn the camera off right about about